Hey guys, it's Pete with Crunch Time Coaching. Got a question for you. How many times have you heard on your forehand, stay down on your forehand, stay down on your forehand? Well, today we're gonna bust a myth. You don't stay down on your forehand, okay? And this is a well-intended kind of coaching mistake that a lot of coaches make, is they tell their students to stay down on the forehand, stay down on the backhand. And it's a good tip in general. It's, it's, it's well-natured, right? It's a good-natured tip because lots of our students, when they go to hit, they're very straight with their legs. They don't bend at all. And so the coach is telling them to get down and hit the ball and stay down on the shot. But the problem is, if you take that too literal, right? If you're somebody out there who's like literally staying down on your forehand, it's not the natural rhythm of the shot. See, if I hit this forehand and I just stay down on it, you see, that's how many times you see a pro do that. They really only do that when the ball is coming really deep and fast at them and they've got to stay down, you know, to kind of absorb all the pace that's coming at them. But in general, what you're going to see is the pros get ready for a shot. They're going to be in athletic positions, so they're going to be lower than most recreational players because too many recreational players are staying straight up. So you want to get lower in athletic position. And then when you're getting ready to hit that shot, let me just make sure you can see my legs. When you get ready to hit that shot, you're gonna get down and get low to get under that ball and then lift. And one of the things that you wanna be careful of is that you don't lift too soon. Because if you lift up too soon, you're usually gonna hit that ball in the net. So what you want to do is you're gonna get down, you're gonna feel the contact, and then after you hit that contact, then you're gonna be pulling up after that shot, okay? So let me show you what it's gonna look like. We're gonna be right here, the ball comes, I'm gonna get down, I'm gonna hit, and then... And pull up through that hit. That's gonna give me a nice height over the net. Let me do that again. I'm here, I'm gonna get down, hit, and then lift. Down, hit, and then lift. What you want to be careful of, watch out for this. This is what you do not want to do. Get here, get down, lift up too soon. Then I hit that ball short, that one was short. A lot of the balls are gonna go in the net. So what you want to do is make sure that you feel your contact. As you're down here, you wanna feel the contact and then come up just after contact. That is a great tip for you guys to start making sure you're getting a net height and you're getting a nice rhythm. Because if you stay down here in your shot, you're just not gonna have a rhythm, you're not gonna have a nice recovery. It's, it's just not realistic to really do over and over again. Only when that ball is coming really fast and deep at you do I recommend that sometimes you literally stay down through the whole shot. Like you might see, I think Serena Williams lots of times does that. So I've seen her like hit the ball with both knees on the ground sometimes on an open stance forehand. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed today's tip. And you know what goes really well with the forehand? A really nice serve. And I've actually got a free ebook if you want to take advantage of that, Seven Steps to a Powerful Serve. All you gotta do is click right here if you're on your iPhone, it's up here in the corner. And we'll see you on future videos. If you like this video, like it. If you don't want to miss any of my future videos, make sure you subscribe. And um, that's it. Other than that, have a great uh, start to the 2016 tennis year. We'll be making lots of videos this year. It's Pete from Crunch Time Coaching, signing off.